All right, fam, what up? So this is a different project. New project, 2014 Yukon, but the rims, uh, I guess somebody was trying to clean it with some acid or something and uh, kind of messed up the rims. So I'm about to sand them down. I'm gonna uh, put some adhesive on there, 3M, put some primer on there, and then I'm gonna put Raptor liner, which is truck bed liner. I'm gonna spray it with that so it'll be more durable. So here we go. Yeah, yeah. They told me I wouldn't be nothing. They told me I wouldn't be nothing. Write a statistic, dead in prison, look how I'm living. Never been perfect, but I'm forgiven, alive in the sun. They got it. They told me I wouldn't yeah. be nothing. But a statistic, dead in prison, look how I'm living. Never been perfect, but I'm forgiven, alive in the sun. They got it. They told me I wouldn't be nothing. Now you want to do is stuff up the surface. Just so the adhesive and everything can stick. So pretty much got the rim, sand it down as best as I could. It ain't gotta be perfect, cause like I said, I'm using a truck bed liner and not paint. So I'm just trying to make the surface uh, as rough as I can. A lot of dope reviews, people been doing their whole car with it. So I know it's gonna last a lot longer than me uh, trying to paint the wheels. But all right, finish the rest up in the morning. It's the next day and as y'all can see, I'm in a hotel. I drive track the trailers for a living, so I just got done with my route, just checked in. But uh, the wheels turned out good as y'all saw in the video. I didn't use the adhesive spray. I guess I got the wrong one, so when I sprayed it, it came out real thick. And so I just ended up trying to reach down in the tight places with the sandpaper and uh, sand them down as best as I could. And I just sprayed the whole thing down with primer. Uh, after I taped everything up, after I covered the rotors and uh, Know, the brake calibers and all that. I use flash cards to put on the edge of the wheels going around it. Uh, I haven't bought a jack big enough to jack that truck up, so that's why I didn't take the wheels off and do it. But it turned out good as y'all saw. I'm gonna see how well the Raptor liner hold up. Like I said, I saw people do their whole car and uh, it got a lot of good reviews, so it should hold up well. I hope y'all enjoyed this kind of different project. It's not a muscle car. It's a new uh, SUV I just picked up. I got a Rottweiler, so he too big to fit in the Challenger. So, uh, and I also do a lot of side jobs where I needed a truck for. So, hope y'all enjoyed. I'm going to continue modding that. I got some stuff coming up for the Challenger on the way. So, stay locked in. Much love and God bless. Y'all. Just wanted to add this in that I'm not a professional at a lot of the stuff I do. I just do my research. I learn as much as I can and I go knock it out. And, you know, and I thank God for giving me insight on a lot of things and showing me different things. Uh, and that's a product of me just having that relationship with them. So just encouraging somebody, if you ever wanted to knock out a project, no matter if you working on the car, working on your house, you know, try, give it your best effort. You know what I'm saying? You mess up, try again. If you still can't get it, then you can pay somebody. But I know a lot of us are on a budget. 
and we don't have the money to spend or either we have the money but we want to save money so we want to learn and do it ourselves so yeah man just encouraging you all to seek god and keep god first and don't be afraid to try something new yeah